Many Australian cities have just come out of a significant long period of drought, over 10 years of significant drought conditions, only to see the drought broken by significant flood events. It clearly highlights to us the extremities of floods and droughts are in fact coupled in terms of how water management needs to be delivered in cities. Overarching that, we find that we have increasing heat wave conditions, increasing predictions of future heat wave days. They all impact on our livability. How do we start to think about managing our cities, planning our cities such that they can be flood resilient while at the same time ensuring that the water that is generated in our cities are in fact managed as resources? Water sensitive cities involves bringing together researchers and industry and government partners to develop solutions that bring together all the different disciplines but with the practicality of implementation today. Our research program is divided into four specific themes. We undertake research on fundamental technologies, technologies related to resource recovery in our sewer, technologies related to how we can actually start to look at hybrid, centralised and decentralised water servicing infrastructure. We also undertake research in the area of water-sensitive urbanism, looking at the spatial planning and spatial urban design of, of our cities, looking at the interaction between ecology, urban climatology, planning, city building, city layout. We also undertake research under the theme of society, which is very much linked to the social science and the humanities, on economics, on human behaviour, looking at governance structures, and looking at how we can foster better co-development and co-ownership of future water-sensitive strategies between the community and institutions and government. And finally, our fourth program is very much about looking at research adoption, looking at adoption pathways that will deliver impact for the work that we do, and also to ensure that our work can collectively be synthesized to deliver context-specific solutions to cities and towns in Australia and overseas. The CRC currently has over 85 participants, from research, from the water utilities, from local government, from state government, from land developers, all of which have a stake in delivering water sensitivities, all of which really needed to work together to ensure that the translation of research to practice is seamless, is integrated with the practice of other enterprises within our city. We have in total 167 researchers undertaking research across 20 different disciplines. We have 49 PhD students that are undertaking projects that are fundamental to the activities of the CRC. The CRC's vision is for future cities and its region to be sustainable, resilient, productive and livable. The problem that we try to address is complex. We don't pretend that it is easy, nor do we want to reduce the complexity into very narrow, uh, very narrow problem definition and deliver very narrow solution. We are embracing the complexity. We have developed interdisciplinary research programs and processes to ensure that the embracement of that complexity is delivered through interdisciplinary research and cross-sector engagement. As a group, as a community, the CRC for Water Sensitive City is world-class. I hear that all the time and I'm very proud of it. What we have is the capacity to make real impact, real impact to cities, complex cities, of social and technical systems. Our talent is in our researchers, our change agents are in our industry partners. Together, we can make a difference in delivering water-sensitive cities.